class was conceived uh, as a course that would make maths more accessible to artists and to see how if you're an artist or designer you can take elements of thinking from mathematics into your own practice uh, and next year is the mathematics of planet earth it's been declared by unesco and others so uh, we also wanted to see if something that's made in srishti that uh, looks at maths can be uh, uh, sent to unesco uh, as a model uh, for other schools and uh, uh, colleges and museums to replicate so that's the aim of the class is it i don't have i don't know what this is this is the the normal like this is these are the lights the, this these is these are the, the lights I started thinking about what is it about light in contemporary society that is not on the surface but is kind of everywhere and you know that's polarization The history of light is connected with the history of optical instruments We had lens grinding machines telescopes and so forth and now we have this unique situation in in where an entire planet of human beings has access to a camera um if 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 that's not on a phone it's as a dslr or whatever and the property of light which is polarization uh you actually have an instrument in your hands with which you can measure it um and discover the fact that the polarization of light has played um a significant probably very dramatic role in the evolution of life on this planet and continues to do so and it might if you if you go back to the evolution of physics itself of how the birth of space time one might even look at the cosmic microwave background its polarization and see that you're holding an instrument in your hand which can show you a clue about creation itself